Hi folks, this is Sid from 3-Minute Travel Tips. Welcome to 3-Minute Travel Tips Live. 3-Minute Travel Tips Live is a roundtable discussion with travel professionals and industry bloggers. We're here to talk about vacation topics in a little more detail. During each 30-minute show, we will take a more in-depth look at a destination or topic than we normally do with our three-minute format. Today, we're talking about dining experiences. We're looking to go into a little more detail and talk about character meals and dinner shows at Walt Disney World Resort. And we've got the lowdown in 30 minutes or less. Let me introduce today's guest. First up, we have Monday Cleghorn. Monday is owner and president of Magic and Mickey Travel. Magic and Mickey Travels earned quite an honor within the Disney organization. It is recognized by Disney to be an authorized Disney vacation planner. Monday, how are things doing with you today? Good. How are you, Sid? Doing well. Doing well. Next up, we have Zath, uh, excuse me, Kathy Zakai. Kathy is also with Magic of Mickey Travel and serves as a travel professional. Kathy has been involved with the travel industry for many years. Kathy, tell us, when did you, how long have you been involved in the travel industry? For about five years now, Sid. That is absolutely outstanding. I know you're a Disney aficionado from way back, sharing that passion and love for all things Disney, and it's great to have you on board. Well, before we get into before we get into today's topic, I'd like to toss it over to Monday and share a little bit about some of the news that's going on uh, this week with Walt Disney World Resort. Uh, Monday, can you share us some details? I can see it. Um, uh, we have uh, Disney has uh, last week they released um, or actually extended uh, military rates. So um, this is a good thing uh, if you are in the military. Um, this is for anyone who has a valid military ID or retired military, um, they have some really good discounts uh, for uh, retired military um, and, and active military. So um, get in touch with one of the travel professionals at Magic and Mickey Travel. Uh, they can give you more details on that and they can get you booked. And um, also, uh, we just learned today, uh, I believe it was today, wasn't it today, that selfie sticks have been banned, or was that yesterday? Well, it, <laughs> it, certainly, was, it, certainly, up, so. it certainly has been coming, so yeah, yeah but, it uh, yeah. And, and, it's, and that's an important uh, topic to share, because a lot of folks may not realize that when you're visiting the park, there are certain things you can bring into the park as part of yeah. your camera gear or not, and selfie sticks have become very popular over recent yeah. years, and yeah. Monday, what, how, are they, how are they working yet exactly? Um, you know, really, Sid, all I know is that if you have um, the the selfie sticks that people can purchase like from Target and uh, places like that, uh, you cannot bring those in simply because it is a safety um, issue. Uh, you know, I mean, anything can happen with those selfie sticks and people uh, would take them on rides and, of course, you know, incidents can happen. So, um, it, I think it's a good thing. Um, I, I kind of, uh, it was a little disappointing at first when I heard it, but the more I thought about it, it makes perfect sense. I mean, you don't want to um, have any kind of issues and cause someone to get hurt. You know, that would not be good. So they're just trying to do what's right for them. You're absolutely right. At Disney is all about safety and guest safety, and, and they wouldn't want anybody um, mm -hmm. hurt in, in, you know, even by accident when something like that happens. Yeah, and right. what I would encourage guests to do if they're if they're looking to get that that joint picture of of the whole family or or at least them as a couple is is to just reach out to a cast member and ask them if they would uh, take the picture for them. And chances are uh, they probably could. Uh, help in those circumstances. It's not a big deal, and that way they can still get that nice picture with the the character as part of the shot or the whole family. But it's a matter of just reaching out and and, and asking a cast member if they sure. do that. But uh, it is a big change, and but uh, it uh, it's one of those things that I think over time uh, folks will certainly understand. Mm -hmm. Well, now we're to our main topic of the day. When guests are looking at different dining choices at Walt Disney World Resort, you'll find that there are num numerous options to consider. There are different categories of service, different types of service. For example, quick serve or table service options, buffets, desserts, uh, numerous choices, if you will. Some of the most popular options include entertainment. This would typically include a character dining experience or a dinner show. These are some of the most popular options that are offered at Walt Disney World Resort. Guests can find it may be even difficult to be able to get a reservation to enjoy the experience. 
Well, Magic of Mickey Travel has a large number of agents with many years of destination Disney destination experience. And we thought one of the ways to help with that would be to survey the different agents on their thoughts about which character dining experience and dinner shows are, are probably the most popular. And today we're here to talk about those experiences and, and share with you the top results so that you know what may be uh, one that you would want to plan on in the future. And Monday, before we get into the, say, the top five, can you explain a little bit about what exactly is a character dining experience and why is it popular? Absolutely. Um, character dining is... Um it's so much fun. Uh, you will have you'll be able to go into a, a character dining location restaurant. Um, you'll some of them um, are buffets, some are not. Some you order off the menu, um, but you do get to experience character interaction. Um, that is, um, it's priceless. Um, really, uh, you get to spend a lot of time with the different characters and um, you know sometimes you um, maybe you don't want to stand um, in line to visit with a character and um, it, you can do this at a, a restaurant that has character option or character meal. So it, it, in other words it's a, it's a chance maybe to have a little bit more personal one-on-one -on -one time or right. a little bit more as a family and, and it's, in a, it's in an atmosphere that uh, uh, is less um, well, it's not. It's not like you're you're waiting as part of a line queue mm -hmm. to do it. In some cases, these characters are actually coming to you and visiting uh, visiting you at, okay. at your dinner table, even. So yeah, it's it's right. it's it's a much uh, different kind of experience. Well, mm -hmm. there are a number of options, and we're going to have the survey available. Link to the survey listed below on the YouTube page. But uh, we're only going to cover the top five today, and starting off with. The, the number fifth place location is Cinderella's Royal Table. Monday, um, can you share a little bit about what is Cinderella's Mon uh, Royal Table? What's the experience like? Oh my goodness, it's a really uh, neat experience, especially if you have little girls who love princesses. Um, this is just a really unique experience. It is uh, Cinderella's Table is uh, Royal Table is located at the Magic Kingdom. Uh, it's in Cinderella Castle. So that in itself is um, pretty special, uh, you know, just to be able to go into Cinderella Castle and dine there with the princesses. Of course, the princesses come around to uh, your table, just like we were just talking about. Uh, but before your meal, uh, when you go in, you are able to get your picture made with Cinderella, um, and then you're taken upstairs to uh, the dining room. Um, but they have, um, it, this is the only, uh, the only character meal um, that is a two credit, two table service credit meal. So uh, be aware of that. Um, mm -hmm. But it is worth it. It is a unique experience. They have lots of different. They've got breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They offer lots of different um, items on their menus. They've got uh, you know traditional breakfast. You can also get like caramel apple stuffed French toast. Um, uh, you can get quiche, uh, lobster. Uh, and then they have the kids menu as well and, and lunch, uh, pork tenderloin and uh, uh, gnocchi and uh, beef tenderloin salad and then you know dinner's kind of uh, the same way. They've got uh, slow roasted pork tenderloin and steak and shrimp and lots of really good desserts to choose from. Uh, but just the interaction with the characters, uh, the, the princesses, I mean that's just priceless for any little girl. Um, and it's also a great place if you are interested in proposing to your oh, uh, fiance yeah, uh, or to your girlfriend. Yeah. Take them to Cinderella's yeah. World. It is a great. I've seen several people get. Uh, engaged at that place. So. <laughs> that's a great idea. That's true yeah. and that's true especially proposals because there is a little bit of a romantic side about it and, mm -hmm. and certainly it's a memorable location to, to visit. Well, Absolutely. Kathy, Kathy we're going to go across over to Epcot for the fourth place location and this one's a restaurant called Akershus. Um, what is the what is Akershus Royal Banquet Hall like? What What is this place about? <laughs> So it is a castle. Um, you come in and there are different princesses. You get your picture taken with one of them um, and that will be on your photo pass, your memory maker. Um, and then you have your meal and there's princesses that come around. There's four. There's no guarantee of which one, it, which four it will be, but you'll get four princesses. Um, and so the meal is, uh, you order 
um, for dinner you order a meal like uh, meatballs or um, there was like a grilled pork chop there was steak um, you order the meal you get the meal and then there's a cold buffet which means you go up and there's like salad and fruit and some different Norwegian food that you can try um, different cheeses and meats and um, lots of like herring or salmon um, and so you can try different food from you know Norway um, the m meals good you get to meet the princesses there's you know you get to do a, the kids get to go do a little um, march and a little parade around the restaurant um, and breakfast is the same you meet the princesses and you get like eggs bacon sausage potato casserole and again you get the cold buffet so it can be you know a neat thing to try unique food yeah, I would say it sounds like the, the the choices there. It's not your standard buffet kind of experience at Disney. The the the, yeah. the, the menu selections are a little more unusual for, and so yeah. for those with say a sensitive palate, it's something that you'll want to chat about a little. It just make sure some of the choices there uh, are are. I, I'm well put it this way. I have no doubt there's something there that just about anybody will like. So I'd I'd want to quell that. Uh, thought but uh, at the same time it's an option where you can try some maybe unusual uh, choices that um, you wouldn't necessarily find at a, at a local restaurant or something like that. Would that be correct? Yes and they they do have a kid menu that does have um, pizza and your normal type food so if you are a picky eater you can probably order off the kid menu <laughs> I have done that before. <laughs> well, coming in third place, uh, this restaurant is not even located in any of the theme parks. Uh, and uh, at the same time, this one's located over uh, at one of the uh, Disney hotels. And Monday, third place is Ohana. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about Ohana? I can. Ohana is whew, it's really good. <laughs> um, it's one of my favorite uh breakfast. Um, this is the character meal is just uh, a breakfast, just for breakfast. You do not have characters at dinner. Um, but they have, um, the, it's more of a, um, I guess a family style meal. Uh, it's not a buffet. You don't order off a menu. They just bring everything to you family style. And um, you have, um, you know, fantastic eggs. I mean, they have some of the best scrambled eggs I've ever eaten. Uh, they have great fried potatoes and bacon and um, you get pineapple bread and uh, just lots of great things. And it's all you can eat. Uh, but then you have um, Pluto and um, Mickey and also um, Lilo and Stitch. Mm. So that's really neat. So and it is at Disney's Polynesian Resort. Okay, so in other words, that's the that's a, a monorail resort that they'd want to travel to. So mm -hmm. if they're if it's the kind of thing that they're already uh, at the Magic Kingdom, or if they're wanting to visit the Magic Kingdom as part of uh, you know, it, it'd be an easy stop off point because it's a matter of just hopping on that monorail and heading on to the theme parks. So and it would give you a chance to check out all the new renovations oh, over at oh, the yes. Polynesian. Beautiful. Yeah, abs absolutely. Well, coming in third place is a it's a popular choice as well, and it is also outside of the uh, theme parks. Kathy, and that location is called 1900 Park Fair. What is 1900 Park Fair all about? Okay, well, so there's two different sets of characters. For breakfast, you have Alice in Wonderland, the Mad Hatter, Mary Poppins, and Tigger. Um, and then they have your breakfast type foods. Um, they have a little carving station and they have things like um, lobster egg benedict and um, of course you can't forget the strawberry soup. Mm. Um, <laughs> that's like the best thing. Mm -hmm. It's only available at the Grand Floridian at 1900 Park Fair. Um, so then it's a, it is a buffet. You just you go up, you help yourself um, and then for dinner it is Cinderella Prince Charming and the Evil Stepmother and Evil Stepsisters. Now this is the only meal where you'll actually see a villain so I think that that makes this meal just even better. Um, hmm. They joke around with you. The interaction at this meal I think is the best on property. Um, this is my favorite meal. Um, and for dinner they have a they have unique unique things too. They have of course the kids. Um, I, again I'll go back to say that if you are a picky eater the kid, there is stuff on the kid buffet that everybody will eat. Um, but they have things like um, stir fries and grilled chicken and um, a carving station and 
um, salmon. They they have the, the big variety and then a bunch of desserts and. But again, what makes this meal the best, I think, is the characters. I, I hear you on that. The character interaction in particular. We, uh, my, we took my family there a couple of years ago, and my son uh, was a senior in high school or maybe even graduate, I'm not sure, but uh, we, we announced to the, uh, the stepmother that um, he is an eligible bachelor and he doesn't care anything <laughs> about lady shoe sizes. And oh my gosh, those characters went to town making over him. The stepsisters themselves were just <laughs> yelling his name at the top of their lungs as well they were across the room and dancing with him and and oh my gosh, you know, for the yeah. most uh, my son was the let's just say he's kind of one of those cool types, you know, he didn't want to be seen doing something that isn't really <laughs> cool, but even those folks you just kind of they kind of just really raised his spirits. It was a really wonderful memory. And so I would hardly recommend the 1900 Park Fair experience. Uh, for really any any type of guest. Well, coming in at number one, the location is also a, a location that is outside the uh, Disney theme parks. And this is a, a traditional place, I would say, Monday. It's called Chef Mickey's. Um, what is Chef Mickey's all about? Chef Mickey's is, <laughs> this is probably my favorite uh, character meal, um, especially for breakfast. Um, it's located at Disney's Contemporary Resort. Um, you can actually see the monorail go through as you're dining, um, mm -hmm. if you're dining in certain areas. Um, and, and if you're on the monorail, you can look down and see Chef Mickey's uh, when That's you go true. by. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's, it's a fun, fun uh, experience. Uh, all the characters come around. Uh, you have Mickey, Minnie, Donald, uh, Goofy, and Pluto, and they will all come around to your table, interact with you, get your picture made with them. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun. I mean, it's real good character interaction, but, um, you know, their breakfast, it's a buffet. Um, and, and also, you get your picture made, uh, family picture made, before going into the restaurant. And, and I meant to mention this while I go, Kathy, thank you for reminding me. These pictures are going to be on your memory maker, so if you purchase memory maker, um, that will be included on your memory maker. If you do not purchase it, you would have to purchase those separately um, on the PhotoPass website. Um, but their, their buffet for breakfast, they have breakfast, brunch, and dinner. Um, and they have so many good things on their breakfast uh, buffet. I mean, they have sausages, kielbasa, um, bacon, and eggs, and um, quiche, and smoked salmon, smoked trout. They even have cereal if your kids want cereal. Um, but, if you know, <laughs> my goodness, if you're going there, don't eat cereal. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, they have uh, cinnamon rolls and chocolate croissants, and then then you've got the Mickey waffles. Y Mickey waffles. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> those. those are very important. <laughs> Fried potatoes too. <laughs> um, but you can't, uh, you know, the brunch menu. They've got Caesar salad. They've also got um, seasonal fruit. They've got frittatas. Um, I think they've got um, oh uh, salmon and pork ribs, and then dinner is pretty much the same way, like carving station and potatoes and macaroni and cheese and even things for kids, you know, chicken nuggets and pizza. And so, I mean, nobody's going to walk away from their hungry. There's no possible way. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Well, it, and, and I would say, and, and, and Monday, correct me if I'm wrong, it, this is an extremely popular location. Oh, so, yeah. so it's one of the things where it, it, it helps to work with a travel professional sometimes. As far as not only getting strategy for getting the reservation, but maybe they can help with getting a reservation because it's, it's, it's one of those places that uh, it can, they, can, they can be fully booked rather quickly. That is correct. Absolutely. Before we uh, wrap up, uh, we do want to cover also the uh, top dinner shows, and and with dinner shows, it's a little bit different of an experience. In, in this case, you're going to have a, a character interaction, or well, you're certainly going to have some kind of level of entertainment, not not so much a, a character inter interaction like a character experience, but um, you'll have something along the lines of a traditional dinner show. Um, and, and the entertainment can last for a little while. And we surveyed our agents as well and, and came up with the top three. And there are actually three dinner shows currently being offered. And Kathy, I'm going to toss it over to you with the, the, the show that came in third place. And this is a show called The Spirit of Aloha. I'm guessing Spirit of Aloha, it's probably connected with the Polynesian Resort. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what that experience is like? Yes, it's um, a luau, so they have, you know, the Hawaiian dancers, and there's flames, and um, there's food, and it is all you can eat. Um, 
I can tell you from experience, my parents went there, and uh, the next year they went to Hawaii and seen a, a, a luau in Hawaii, and they said that they actually liked the food better at Disney than in Hawaii. So that's a good raving review there, but it's a really neat, a really neat show. Excellent, excellent. I know one of the things about it, it's, it's, you've got kind of a large seating area and so one of the things you'll want to do is work with a, a travel professional on where you're going to be seated, um, but uh, it, it is a neat show and, and, and certainly uh, a, a, a great experience. Monday coming in second place, and if I'm looking at it correctly, is Mickey's Backyard Barbecue. Um, what, what is a backyard barbecue like? <laughs> well, it's like a backyard barbecue and it is fun. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's actually a backyard barbecue beefed up. I mean, it is so much fun. Um, they have this is located. Uh, Mickey's Backyard Barbecue is located at Fort Wilderness Campground, and it is in uh, the Fort Wilderness Pavilion, which is a big open air pavilion. Um, mm -hmm. It is a barbecue. I mean, you have um, you know smoked chicken and barbecue ribs and hamburgers and hot dogs and line dancing and <laughs> they they have a big dance floor and uh, they have um, a, a, uh, a stage show and lots of singing and kids, adults, everybody can get out on that dance floor and dance and just have a great time and of course uh, the characters are Mickey and Minnie and Goofy and Chippendale and um, I have to tell you my favorite picture uh, of me with Mickey Mouse was taken at uh, this um, oh, wow. experience. Yeah, and I it, it is one of the best memories I have I have of of Mickey and myself. And um, I, I was sitting at the table eating, and of course it is a big pavilion, and it's you know people are walking around, characters are walking around, and um, I didn't know it. Mickey was behind me, and he tapped me on the shoulder and turned around. I'm not a dancer, so I wasn't dancing. I was just sitting at the table. Mickey tapped me on the shoulder and turned around, and wanted to dance with me. So I got Aww. up and danced with him. I took a picture of that, and that was like that's my favorite picture. I mean, it was it was just a special moment. And you mentioned this earlier. Um, earlier, uh, Kathy, you or Sid, one of you said Sid, you did about making a memory. And that's the thing about these character meals. It's it's all about the memories that you're making uh, with your family mm -hmm. and, you know, these pictures that are being brought back to you. You know, you, you've got all these pictures and all these experiences and it's just a special mm -hmm. time with your family. And, you know, if you've got an opportunity to take advantage of these, please, you know, we encourage you to do that. That's what we're all about is helping make people make special magical memories. Well, it, uh, you're, you're absolutely right, and it, uh, I know with, with our kids, I mean, we've got memories going back since they were six months old as far as wow. visiting the parks, and, and so it, it I mean, it, literally, we can, we can tell a story of how they grew up by visiting Walt Disney World Resort, because yeah. it, it, it's, it's, it's a very unique place, and, and certainly when you're looking at character interaction and the opportunity to go visit dinner shows, um, that, that, that's something that shouldn't be uh, excluded because the experience is something that's a little bit different and, and it can be a little bit special. Monday, as I understand, there's also another uh, dinner <laughs> show that goes on over at, at Fort Wilderness as well. Yeah, yeah. And, yep. I mean, Speaking of that, I think uh, you have been there, haven't you? I, I have, and, and yes, coming in, coming <laughs> yeah. in at first place is 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 uh, Mickey's, mm -hmm. or not Mickey's, but the Hoop Doo Musical Review. And the Hoop Doo Musical Review is... Um, it's a, it's a, it's basically a, a, a dinner show. It's a two-hour stage uh, presentation, and I, I would describe the, the experience to be kind of like a 50s, 60s era Western theme show. Um, it is a classic show. I think when you look at Disney Entertainment, it's it's been going on for many years, and it has a huge uh, group of fans out there that have followed the followed the uh, the show and how it's developed. Um, as far as the type of food, it it also is kind of an all you care to eat experience. Um, the typical choices you'd find would be uh, fried chicken and barbecue pork ribs. Uh, salads, uh, or baked beans, kind of that kind of style of food. Um, the show is in a in kind of a, a, a hall area, and it's a two-story 
you can either be seated downstairs on the same floor as the stage, or you can go up into kind of a second. I think well, maybe it's three stories. I'm not I'm not positive about that, but it it's the kind of thing that you can you can be seated in different areas as well as part of the show. But but the key thing is is just um, it it's a very unique Disney Americana experience. And uh, I would highly recommend it for those who, who maybe are trying something a little bit different. Um, if you're staying or if you're visiting the Magic Kingdom, it's a, mm -hmm. it's a nice little boat ride, really, to go over and visit uh, either one of these two shows that are at Fort Wilderness. So uh, I think with, with, with all three dinner shows, there, there's something to represent a nice level of entertainment. And it's something that's a little bit unique for, for, for guests when they're visiting on property. But uh, with that, we need to start wrapping up. We're getting real tight on time. So we need to do our tips of the day before we close the show. And Monday, uh, we are very tight. Uh, what might be your tip of the day? Uh, my tip is going to be uh, is going to be based on uh, what we just talked about, but it's kind of a twofer. Um, if you uh, want to experience uh, interaction with characters and you do not want to stand in line, um, it, not that that's a bad thing, but if you don't want to do that, experience this through a character meal, um, and then at the same time, um, add that ma memory maker to your package because memory maker uh, is where all of your photos are going to be, and uh, it's such a great value to add that. And uh, there again, you know, you've got all your memories right there in one place, and and it's such a cheap price for a lot of memories. Excellent, um, excellent, Kathy. Uh, what is your tip of the day? So my tip has to do with if you're shopping at any of the parks and you decide you don't want to carry your um, souvenirs around, you can have it either sent to the front of the park and pick it up when you're done, or if it's not your last night there, you can have it shipped back to your resort um, and pick it up the next day after like 1 o'clock at the um, gift shop at your resort. So that's a big handy dandy thing if you don't want to carry things around, but find something you really absolutely have to have. Excellent, excellent. Well, my tip of the day is, uh, you know, maybe you're visiting Walt Disney World Resort several days and you're going to have a non-theme park day. And what I would suggest is you go out and spend some time visiting some of the hotels. Uh, there are really some neat hotels on the Walt Disney World mm -hmm. Resort property, whether it's uh, visiting the Grand Floridian, uh, the, the, the Contemporary Resort, which is a hugely classically uh, design structure to uh, going over and, and seeing the Animal Kingdom Lodge where you get to see all of the yeah. critters in the safari areas. These are some spectacular areas. It doesn't cost any money. It's air conditioned so if you want to stay out of the weather or elements like that you can you can certainly do it and by visiting it it might give you some ideas on where you'd like to stay uh, yeah. on your next visit. Mm -hmm. So uh, anyway I think it's a great idea to spend a little time and just see what those other resorts are like but um, we're now to a point where we need to wrap it up and I'd like to thank you the viewer for tuning in I'd also like to thank Monday Cleghorn Monday uh, what's the best way folks can reach out and connect up with you uh, email me at Monday at magic of Mickey.com excellent and Kathy what is the best way that folks can reach out to you same thing as email at Kathy at magic of Mickey.com excellent well that's it in 30 minutes or less for all your Disney travel needs, reach out to any of the dream makers at Magic of Mickey Travel. And for more travel tips, please subscribe below or check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. And you can also reach us on our blog website, 3 minute Thanks for watching. Thank you.